I bought quite a lot of EF cans and other radio coils approximately a week ago and in this video I want to show how you can test all these coils. It was a big bunch from all kinds of um, coils, EF coils, uh, coils for shortwave etc etc and they were from Mitsumi, you can see them here, and from Toko, two well-known brands in the radio world. You can uh, discriminate the coils in a few ways. At first, by their color, yellow, brown or pale orange, blue, etc. And also by the number that's printed on it. And all these Mitsumi coils have numbers like 93 or 20 in the beginning. The easiest way to test a coil, whether it's a radio coil or an EF coil, is to connect it to an oscillator circuit and read out the frequency at the output from the oscillator. I always use for these measurements a, a field effect transistor because it has a very good linearity and the input capacitance from the gate to ground is not very big and that's parasitic capacitance that comes parallel to the known capacitance at the coil winding. And that's important because um, this brings the frequency down and when you use a bipolar transistor the capacitance at the input from the base to ground is not linear. So it changes with the frequency and that makes it very difficult to find out, or more difficult to find out the frequency from uh, the radio co coil, the EF can or the, another can and its properties. I found that the EF cans uh, oscillated when I connected them here and here and with these two types they are orange or brown, pale orange, it oscillated when I connected the oscillator to this pin and this pin. This is the oscillator that I've used with a field effect transistor. I use it always for measurements. And here you see the coil, coil that I'm testing now, that's this one, and here you can see that it oscillates. The oscillation is not perfect, but that's not a very big problem. And here you see the frequency on which this typical can oscillates, 5.2 uh, megahertz. So I think this is a a VFO can or a can that's used in a shortwave receiver at the input, the first stage, the high frequency amplifier. So uh, that are applications also from this can. Another thing is also very important. When you put a varying capacitor here, the frequency will change, of course, and uh, that also means that you can find out on which frequency band the can is usable. I want to demonstrate it now with this can. I change the capacitance now. This is a variable capacitor and with the maximum capacitance. This can is usable for 3.6 megahertz. When I make the capacitor smaller, you can see that it goes to 5.3 megahertz. So these are all frequencies uh, with which you can use this can. And when I do this with another can, for instance an EF can, you will see that when you put a big capacitor parallel to uh, one of the coils, 
the, the tune, the tuning coil, you will see that the frequency changes, for instance, between 300 kilohertz and um, 500 kilohertz or so. So a good way to find out where the can is usable. Um, these are my measuring results. Hope it's usable. Change the light somewhat. And also the color code is here. Pale orange can also be brown. And these are all the frequencies that I found. And they can be changed substantially. So this is an easy way to test all these unknown coils. These are from Toco. I still have to test them. But um, this is a, a good way to, to do that.